Hi, I'm Stephanie, and I'm on the Ag Team here at Connor Prairie. And today we're going to be answering some of the questions you folks sent us uh, about our Ag Department and what we do here. So lots of people have asked us if we have any new babies yet, uh, and the answer is not yet, uh, but we're getting really close. Some of our mamas are, are uh, due to go any day now, so uh, we should have some to share with you soon. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm part of the Ag Team here at Connor Prairie. So one of you asked um, what's so special about our goats. So the Arapaw goats here are one of the heritage breeds that we have at Connor Prairie. So a heritage breed is a type of um, animal that's been around historically uh, and that is uh, genetically important to the ag uh, industry. And so currently with the Arapaw goats, there's only about 200 of them in the U.S. So we have them here to help uh, show historically what goats would have looked like in Prairie Town and then also to help increase numbers in the United States. Hi, my name is Lauren Dalton and I'm part of the Ag staff here at Connor Prairie. One of you guys asked how much hay we go through in a day. Here to my right, we have five bales of alfalfa that we feed our, to our sheep and our goats every day. And to my left, we feed one of these big bales every day to our cattle. A couple of you asked what the most challenging part is of having animals at a place like Connor Prairie. And there's a lot of challenges, uh, but there's also a lot of rewards. Um, for me, I think the most challenging part is finding uh, ways to let guests interact with the animals uh, and have those unique experiences uh, while still being able to keep the animals and the guests safe. At Connor Prairie, we're able to provide our guests with some really unique agriculture experiences that they may not be able to get anywhere else, uh, as well as the opportunity to interact with a lot of our animals, uh, especially our heritage breeds. With that comes the challenge of keeping both our animals and our guests safe. So a big part of my job is facilitating those experiences uh, to ensure that our guests have a positive, uh, educational, and fun time uh, while experiencing agriculture here at Connor Prairie. So one of the questions was, what is our favorite part of working with the livestock? Um, so my favorite part is when the winter turns into springtime and the weather changes, uh, the animals, all young and old, start getting really bouncy legs and race through the pastures. Another question we got is, how can guests be more considerate when they come into our animal encounters barn? Right outside the barn we have this sign for if you have strollers. We prefer you to keep strollers outside so as not to bring anything into our barn and to cause our animals to panic. And inside this barn we have this sign that says in the barn we use inside voices, quiet steps, and gentle hands. We do that to keep the atmosphere calm for the animals so that way it's a relaxed time for both guests and for the animals. Come inside, let's do some more. When you come into the Animal Encounters barn, you'll see some sheep and goats loose up on the floor. You're allowed to pet them if you want to, but what you'll want to do is approach them very quietly and softly. And you can pet them right on their backs and on their sides. Just like this. After you were done petting our animals, you should wash your hands. Uh, warm water. Rinse your hands. Get some soap. And wash your hands for 20 seconds. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any more questions, let us know and maybe we'll do another video like this in the future. Have a great day! <laughs> so a couple of you asked what the most challenging part is of having animals at a place like Connor Prairie. And while... <laughs> sometimes they don't want to do photo shoots. Um, so...